Hello beautiful makeup lovers and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kerry and I absolutely love eyeshadow with an absolute passion. It's, it's getting a bit insane. The collection keeps on growing. So guys, today I am so excited because I absolutely love Nomad Cosmetics. They are one of my favourite indie brands. They are based in the US and they've come out with a holiday palette, which I'm so excited for. This is a nice little nine pan. It's the Santa's Village palette. I will show you some close-ups. I'm not going to be swatching the palette just because I have heard that if you do swatch the shimmers, they can hard pan quite easily. So I'm not going to be doing that. But as you can see from the close-ups... This is a gorgeous little nine pan. It has got four mattes and the rest are shimmers. Now the shimmers are a slightly different formula. I do believe they've got something in them called cloudberry or something like that. And that is what makes them slightly different. They're a bit more on the toppery side, which is absolutely fine because I knew that when I was buying the palette. I have seen reviews on this. Some people think it's a lovely palette. Some people aren't so keen on the shimmer formula. I'm gonna be testing it out today. I love Nomad regardless. I think they're a fantastic brand. They base their palettes on destinations and this one is Santa's Village and it is in Lapland, Finland. With all of their palettes come a nice little postcard like this and I do save all of these because I think it's just a super cute touch and on the back it does say the cause this time that they are supporting is the Finnish Association for Natural Conservation. So some of their profits will be going to that. I love that they do that with each and every palette release. I think the packaging of this one is absolutely beautiful. It is giving me Christmassy vibes looking at the colour story. Now, I do prefer a matte heavy palette typically. However, at least we do have deep shades and we do have a nice light shade called White Christmas up here. I'm thinking I'm going to be doing two looks with this. So today I just want to dive into maybe some of the greens. I really like the look of this fir tree shade, which is a nice deep matte green. I think it's a nice cute little palette. I love the packaging, love the theming. I love everything Nomad do and their customer service is amazing. If you've never tried the brand before, I would really recommend checking them out. Okay, so as you can tell, I have got my base on. Um, I'm just gonna prime with my Natasha Denona eye base. Everything that I'm using will be linked in the description box and we're gonna jump into this look. I'm not gonna apologize for the state of my hair. I have not long ago washed it and had a nice shower, so up it goes. So I'm thinking I definitely do want to start out for the first look with the fur tree shade, which is this deep green. It feels weird not swatching a palette, I'm not going to lie. Um, I do like to swatch a new palette, especially when I'm doing a first impression on it. I'm just packing that shade in the outer corner and the mattes from Nomad are usually amazing. Like pigmented, blendable, buildable and that is going on so nicely. I'm just wrapping that onto the lower lash line a little as well. Now, because it's a nine pan and we don't have lots and lots of mattes to play with, this is going to be predominantly a green matte look. I am obviously going to play with some of the shimmers as well, but I'm not going to be using tons and tons of mattes because, like I say, we've only got four in this palette and I'm going to see if this green will blend out with itself nicely. Maybe we'll go into a little bit of the white shade, which is called white Christmas. I am going to actually, when I've tapped out my eye primer, pack this onto a lot of the lid because I know that these shimmers are quite toppery. So maybe if I've got a base underneath, which is going to be this green, it will help those shimmer shades. I mean, this is the kind of shape that I'm going for. Um, I'm just kind of packing it on mainly in the outer corner because that's where I want the most depth and pigment and then I'm going to work on blending the rest of this out. So I'm going to take a smaller brush and just a tiny tiny bit of the product and just wiggle on the very edges of this just to start on working on a blend but I feel like the shape is kind of how I want it to be and I don't want to take it too crazy so I'm just very carefully wiggling on the edges of this I don't want it to go right up to my brow. I do have quite a lot of Nomad palettes now. I have got my eye on some more. I'm gonna probably purchase something for their Black Friday event, which I'm so excited for. I love the look of all of their palettes, to be honest, and I would like to collect them all. It's kind of a Pokemon moment. And I have left the very inner part of my eye free from anything, and I'm thinking I wanna put down a bit of White Christmas, which does look like a kind of 
off-white. It's not a full-on white matte, but I'm excited to see how pigmented this is and if we can maybe blend out a little bit of the green with it as well. So going into a white Christmas, which would be lovely if we had one in the UK, um, I am just going to take a little bit of that and just very gently tickle on the edges of this green just to make the blend as seamless as it can be. And I haven't taken a lot of product because I don't want there to be a stark white contrast, but that is blending out that green shade beautifully. I can see why it's been included because it can definitely blend out the deeper shades in this palette. And I am going to take that white Christmas and I am going to pack a little bit of it near the inner corner area. And I'm not expecting it to be the most white pigmented matte you've ever seen. Because like I say, I have seen reviews, but I just want something a little bit lighter in the inner corner. And I feel like this is a nice shade just to brighten up those deeper mattes if you wanted to. And I'm just going to take some more of that green leading up to that white on the lower lash line. Just a touch, I don't want it to be too overpowering but i feel like this is coming together nicely the mats from nomad are usually amazing so this is how we are looking after just two shades we're going to go in with some shimmer and i've got to decide which without sticking my finger in them to swatch them because i don't want them to hard pan okay i'm thinking i'm thinking we're going to start out with rudolph near the inner corner and then have that leading into winter lights now I'm going to try it with a Refa brush. This is a Refa 21 that's goat's hair, so it's usually pretty good at picking up shimmer. I know a lot of people have said this palette is quite difficult to pick shimmer up with, um, but we're going to see. I mean, this is how it's picking up on the Refa brush and I've dug in quite a lot. So it is a little on the chunky side, but that's okay because I'm going to spray it. And I'm going to pop this over the majority of the lid in the middle. Holy macaroni! That is stunning. It is definitely on the chunkier side, but you can't deny that is a beauty. I feel like as well, it's probably been helped by the fact that I laid down a lot of that green underneath as a nice base for this sort of more toppery shade to go on. I know a lot of people did prefer this shade out of the shimmers in this palette as opposed to the others, but we are going to be testing the others as well. So I will see what I think to those, but I'm not disappointed with this shimmer. And of course, depending what you put these toppery shades on, depends what they look like and the reflex and colours that they give off. And I'm putting it on top of a green. In the pan, it's looking green to me. On the eye now, as I'm placing this on, it looks a little bit blue and I think it's beautiful. I'm not doing a cut crease type thing. I'm just keeping it quite dispersed and just flicking my brush. So that it's a bit sort of smoky. You get my gist. Then I'm going to use a Refa 28 brush and I'm going to go into the Rudolph shade. If you don't like to use goat's hair brushes to pick up your shimmers that are a little bit more difficult to pick up, you can just use the scratchiest brush that you have got. That will usually help. And I'm just going to pop this, I have sprayed it. I'm going to pop this on the inner corner leading into that other shimmer. And this has definitely got a pinky reflect to it. Oh, that's pretty. This isn't as chunky as the previous shade. And it is definitely a little bit more topper-like compared to the previous shade. But never, nevertheless, when I can speak, it is beautiful. Let's pop a bit of this onto the inner corner. And I'm going to go back into a little bit of the matte green just to tap over the edges of the shimmer and make it a little bit more blendy and seamless. And then I think this is more or less going to be the look, guys. I'm going to jump off put something in my waterline, put my lashes on, all that jazz, and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the finished look. I did go in my waterline with one of the Influence Overnight pencils from Revolution Pro, and this is like a foresty green one, and I think it went really nicely with this look. I already have my lips on, that will all be linked in the description box down below, and the lashes are just some half lashes I created myself from full lashes, and they're from She Glam, so super affordable lashes. I just thought half lash would look nice with this. They are quite dramatic though. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's that's quite a dramatic half lash. What do I think to this look? I am very impressed with what I have tried so far. I was a little worried after seeing some of the different reviews that have been coming out. I wasn't worried about the mattes whatsoever, but I feel like the shimmers that I used, I was really impressed with. 
I'll see what the other shimmers are like. Like we have quite a few more to play with. I'm not sure what shimmers we're gonna be using in the next look, but this one looks super pretty, which is called Peace. I do like the look of this gold. And again, sauna, that looks beautiful as well. So we definitely need to play around with some of those. I definitely am gonna use the red matte as well. But the shades that I tried today, the green and the white, I'm not mad at the white. It's not the most super pigmented white in the entire world, but it lightened things up nicely, blended out that deep shade beautifully. I feel like I can see why it's been included. Like, as long as you know buying this palette that you're not gonna be getting the most pigmented bright in your face white, that's not what this is in this palette for, I don't think. But I'm happy it's included. Really, really like the matte quality. The shimmers, like those shimmers on the lid, mm, they just look beautiful. And especially because they're toppery on top of other shades as well, just make them pop a little bit more. I didn't have that much trouble picking them up with a rougher brush. So if you're not comfortable using goat hair, just use, I mean, you can use your finger if you want to. You can use a sponge tip applicator. You can apply it with whatever you want. But I feel like if you use a scratchier type of brush, that will definitely help. And spraying your brush so then you don't get fallout will also help if that is something that you feel like you want to do. I really like this. I like how it came together. I feel like it's not your most typical traditional Christmas type of look, but it's, it's not actually Christmas right now. So I didn't want to go around looking like I, I was celebrating Christmas at the beginning of November. So I feel like I'm really happy with this. I'm happy with how it turned out and I'm excited to play with it again. So let's jump into look number two. Okay, so we are back and there has been a day in between which I haven't filmed and I was supposed to film yesterday and I didn't. Um, well, I'm gonna talk about that. We're gonna dive into the rest of this palette. I definitely, there we go, now I can see it. I definitely wanna use the red. So I think I'm also maybe gonna use a little bit of the shade Elf to begin with. I'm gonna start out with Elf. Um, not quite sure what I'm doing with this look. Um, and I'm gonna pop that in the outer corner to begin with. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan with the shade. But that is fine as long as the pigment is on the eye. And that pigment is definitely on the eye. What a beautiful grey matte. It is lovely. Okay, that is kind of laid down kind of where I want it. And I'm just going to tickle on the edges of this because we don't have really a lot of blending out shades. But I think I will go back into White Christmas just to go over the very edges of this, just to make sure it's as blended and seamless as it can be. But yeah, I'm just blowing that out slightly just so that we can start to work on a blend. Then going back into White Christmas again, we really would love a White Christmas in the UK. That would be absolutely amazing. Maybe not for the people that have to work and still have to drive in it and everything, but I feel like there are quite a lot of people that get Christmas Day off, so hopefully there'll be a lot of people that want to enjoy it. That white Christmas shade just blends everything out beautifully and just makes everything a little bit more seamless. I'm so glad that this is in the palette with all these deep mattes, just so that we can really make sure those edges are blended. Back in again with the Elf shade, which was the grey because I do like to go back and forth between my mattes just to make sure that we haven't lost any pigment and that the blend is exactly how I want it to be. It's very, I don't think I ever really just go in with one shade, blend it out and then don't touch it again. It's, that's not a thing for me. Okay, now it's time to go into Santa, which is the gorgeous red. I don't want to put this red too high up and too close to the inner corner. I just kind of want to put it near the inner corner leading into the grey. So you can just see that when I relax my eyes and I have them open and that's kind of how I want it-ish. Is it going to get blown out a bit and probably look a bit more dramatic than this? Well it is me and again I'm just going to wiggle on the edges of this a bit to diffuse it and then I will go in again with White Christmas just to go over the very edges of this red. And I've just remembered I need to go over the lid with the mattes because the shades I'm going to be using are quite toppery and I definitely want to put a shadow base down for them to sit on top of. So just going in with a little bit of a white Christmas just over the very edges of this red shade which will kind of make it a little bit pinky. You know, red and white, pink. Okay, I'm just going to lay the rest of the mattes down over the lid 
like I say, just because I want a nice matte to go underneath the shades because they are on the toppery side and I feel like they do look a little bit better on top of a matte. Then I'm going to take that e.l.f. grey shade and I am going to run it along the lower lash line and keep it fairly close to the lash line. I don't want too much red in this look because I have got a red lip going on as well. I think sauna is going to be the one that takes over the majority of the lid with this look. I'm going to use another refer brush. This is a refer 21. And we're going to go into sauna and I'm probably going to spray it because if it's going to be chunky, I don't want fallout. And I want this to be as opaque as possible and be the best it can be. Is this picking up a little bit? Okay, so I have sprayed my brush and I'm just going to pop this right in the middle. Oh, that's very pink. That's not what I was expecting. Maybe it's because it's on top of the red. Okay. In the pan, it it sort of goes from like a bluey green to a purple and there is a little bit of pink in there. So I don't know, I wasn't expecting full on pink, but this is what happens when you put it on top of a red eyeshadow. Okay, then I think I'm gonna go into the shade that I can't pronounce and I don't wanna butcher it. It's obviously in Finnish and I don't know how you say it. I mean, I think the language is fascinating, but I can't say this. Again, I've sprayed the shade. This one is a little bit chunky, which is, wow, that is chunky. Can you see that on my eye? That is definitely a very chunky shade. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Um, so far, I haven't minded the shimmers whatsoever, but that one is particularly chunky and just looks like flakes on my eye. I'm gonna go into Pace, which is this one, um, in the hope it's slightly less chunky than that one. Okay, I've sprayed it. Let's go on with this one and see. Okay, it's still a little bit chunky, but it's definitely going on better than the previous shimmer. It's a bit of a bluey purple. It looks very, very blue in the pan, but then, as you're putting it on the eye, especially on top of other things, like, can you see it is a little bit chunkier? I do understand what people are saying about these shimmers and I haven't been tempted to go in with my finger up until this point just because I didn't want them to hard pan. But now I'm thinking maybe I should give it a go. Okay, it definitely applies better with the finger because it's not as chunky. It doesn't go on as chunky as with a brush when you're trying to dig a brush into it. So maybe that is the way to go. The actual colour of it and the reflex are stunning. Like, mmm, purpley, bluey, pink. Okay, I'm just taking this everywhere now because this is absolutely beautiful. I think that looks so nice, especially over the red. I'm going to try and take a little bit of that shade and just... Lop a bit on the lower lash line, just the inner part. And when it's not on that red, you can see how different and more blue it looks rather than purple. Now I'm gonna go back into a little bit of the mattes just to tap over the edges of the shimmer. Okay, for the inner corner, I think I'm gonna go into the shade Rudolph. Ooh. Oh, that inner corner has just finished this off. Okay, let me jump off, finish this up, and we'll come back, see the finished look, and I'll tell you my thoughts on the palette. This is the finished look. I have to say, the eyes have come out a lot more purple leaning than I was hoping for, because that's why I put a red lip on, but I'm not mad at it, to be honest. That actually has made me realise that the palette is a lot more diverse than I first thought, because did you think you was going to be able to create a purple look with this palette, layering that shimmer on top of that red matte has transformed this look. Mm. I did put on some liner. Look, I'm not the best at liner. I did do like a cat eye type of thing and then a wing. But I use one of my favorite liners at the minute, which is Makeup Revolution and the Grinch liner. It's in green fluffy packaging. It's, it's amazing. Mm. The lashes are the Michaela Part 2 High Fashion Glam Light Lashes. Do they have a specific? Is that it? Are they just called high fashion? I have no idea. They're these ones. And in my waffle line, I went in with my MUA pencil. I did 
do believe this is a lip line, yeah, it is in the shade Glam, which is a purpley, plummy colour. I like the way that this has come together. I've got to ignore how crazy my hair looks right now, but I feel like all together it's really, really nice. I would definitely be happy to wear this out, especially around Christmas time. I feel like that shimmer is just so, so special. The, what shade was that? The peace shade that is a blue to a purple. It is gorgeous. And obviously will look different and transform on top of whatever matte you put it on top of. All of these shades will do that. So we need to talk about the palette. Like I said, I have seen reviews on this before I even purchased it. And to be honest, I still wanted it. I, regardless of whether it was a good review or a bad review, looking at this, knowing it's limited edition, knowing it's Nomad, which are one of my favorite ever indie brands, the packaging, always, always goals. I'm still gonna keep the little outer unicat in it as well because it's got the little cutout Santa on it. I really like the colour story. I know a lot of people might not, but I quite like how this is put together. I would have preferred just one or two more mattes because it's me and I'm just a matte lover. But I really do like this palette. Colour story wise, I think it is beautiful. Testing the formula, the mattes are amazing. Don't be expecting the white though to be a bright pigmented in your face white. That white is perfect for blending out the other deep mattes in this palette and I really, really like it for that. And I'm so glad that it is there. I really like that shade. The shimmers. The shimmers are the thing that a lot of people is having issue with and I can kind of see what they are talking about. So this shimmer is the best in the palette by far formula wise and it is the shade Winter Lights. This was the easiest to pick up, the most opaque on the eye, easiest to apply but they are all toppery shades and you kind of got to put that into perspective a little like are shimmers to you do you want them blinding in your face or do you want a palette that has got toppery shades in it if toppery shades aren't for you maybe this palette isn't for you now I don't even know if it's sold out whilst I'm filming this hopefully it's still available if you're wanting to pick it up but if you don't like toppery shades I don't think you're gonna like this palette Having said that, they are toppery shades and some toppery shades are easier to pick up than others. The ones in this palette do seem a little hard pressed and you do have to kind of dig in there with your brush a bit. You can go in with your finger. When I went in with Peace on my finger, it went on beautifully. But yeah, they are a little bit more difficult to pick up than a lot of the other Nomad palettes that I've got and a lot of the other palettes in my collection, to be honest. The only shade that I really had an issue with an actual issue is probably this one in the middle that I can't pronounce because when I tried to pick that up on a brush it did pick up when I dug into it I sprayed it and when I put it on the lid it was very very chunky so I do feel like that shade would really benefit from going on with your finger rather than a brush but having said that I'm not mad that I've got this palette I really like it I think you've got to spend a little bit more time with the shimmers work out what the best way is to pick them up and apply them for you because not everybody's going to want to do it the same way some people just won't want to use their fingers at all and that is absolutely fine the sponge tip applicators there's goat's hair brushes the synthetic brushes however you want to apply them but i do feel like they probably would benefit from a finger and maybe even popping them onto some glitter glue as well or even just a tackier base rather than the matte eyeshadow but i just like toppery shades to transform a matte eyeshadow. So, all in all, I like the colours that are included in this palette. The shimmers are a little bit difficult to pick up. They're on the toppery side. I think they're pretty when they're on. I like the looks that I created. Who would have thought a purple look from this palette? Purple, purple. I'm not sure how it's coming across on camera, but it's a very purple to me. And I really like that nice bright inner corner. That is a lovely inner corner on me, the shade Rudolph. If you are a similar skin tone to me, you might like that shade for an inner corner. But I can't say I'm mad at this palette. I like it. Is it the best Nomad palette I've ever tried? No. I really, really still like, is it Montverde? The Cloud Forest palette? That will take some beating in my opinion. But I am glad that I've got it in my collection. I'm glad that I picked it up and I'm excited to use it around Christmas time. I hope that review was helpful for you if you were still deciding whether you wanted to pick it up or not, or if you just want to shop your stash, do a similar type of look and you don't need to pick up the palette maybe, or even just some inspo on looks and colours to pop together. So that's it guys, that's it. I feel like, yeah, did I use all the shades in the palette? I did, I attempted to use all the shades in the palette. Like I say, I didn't really use this middle gold one. I feel like if I'd have just used it with my finger, well, that was very rude. It stopped filming <laughs> just as I was being shocked by this amazing shade. I can't pronounce it. The, the only one that I can't pronounce in the palette. I do apologize. 
but it is absolutely beautiful as i'm looking at it i can see gold and pink and oh, i don't know if you're going to be able to see what i see but it is definitely gold and pink and it is stunning and picking up on the finger as you can see so much better than a brush not chunky at all so i'd really recommend using your finger maybe for a lot of these shades to be honest um if they are a bit hard pressed like this definitely go in with your finger and i did go in with my finger with the p shade and it did work like a dream on the lid and it looks stunning thank you so much for joining me for this video guys if this is the sort of content that you enjoy please do consider subscribing don't forget to like and comment down below which is your favorite look because i would really like to know and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye